This interactive video wall is a meditation, interpretation and reimagining of the paintings of Frank Moore. Moore's work deals with environmental and healthcare activism. The wall demonstrates one of Moore's major themes, the ways our interactions with the world impact the greater environment. The interaction uses cameras to detect motion and is therefore unencumbering. The cameras refer to the surveillance equipment which follows us through our lives and also to our insistence on stamping our own image on the natural world. Images of Niagara Falls suggest the unspoilt freedom of the American wilderness. The interaction problematizes this view. Visitors can fracture the video image. They can clutter it with foreign objects, hybridized plants, technology, symbols of tourism, pollution. The interaction is triggered by the visitors' movements. When the room is empty, video of Niagara Falls plays undisturbed. Different parts of the room trigger different visual events on the screen. When visitors enter and move about at the back of the room, objects start to flow over the waterfall. As people move closer, butterflies drift with the spray. Boats and insects battle the churning waters. When visitors are closer still, strange plants grow up in front of the falls. When the visitors cast shadows on the screen, the video bounces off them, revealing a picture beneath. The interactive video wall includes live footage of Niagara Falls textured onto a particle system. The particle system enables the video to bounce off the visitors when they occlude the projection. Other graphic elements were taken from Frank Moore's paintings, and the painting behind the video of Niagara Falls is Frank Moore's Niagara. The installation uses two infrared cameras and two LCD projectors. It runs on a single Linux PC with a dual-headed graphics card and two TV input cards. The interactive wall was first shown at the Albright Knox Art Gallery in conjunction with an exhibition of paintings, Frank Moore, Green Thumb in a Dark Eden, from February to April 2003.